Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name's Katie, and if you're new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. Today, I am very excited to get to share a sneak peek with you guys from Diamond Art Club. This is one of the pieces that we'll be releasing this weekend. And Diamond Art Club was kind enough to send over actually two sneak peeks for me to share with you this week, just because of how the calendar ended up. So uh, this is the first of those two, and I'm really excited to get to share it with you. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, Diamond Art Club regularly does new releases each week, and uh, these new releases will go live at 9 a.m. this upcoming Saturday, October 23rd, at 9 a.m. for Ruby and Diamond level, uh, tier member rewards members and then that's Pacific time and then half an hour later at 9 30 a.m pacific time for the general release now if you are brand new to diamond art club and have not made a purchase from them before I have some really really exciting news about a brand new and higher discount code that they are offering um, for my viewers for first time buyers so stay tuned I'll share more about that in just a moment let's get into this first though okay so so this adorable sneak peek is Captain Jack. Oh my gosh. This is from the artist Scott Howden. And here's all the stats and info about the piece. Uh, Diamond Art Clothes boxes have like the blue square here and the blue line here that also tells you this is a square drill diamond painting kit. The back is going to have some instructions on how to diamond paint. There's also going to be an insert in the box as well. So, how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing really well, and I hope you've had the chance to take a peek at Diamond Art Club's social media to see some of the gorgeous new kits that they have releasing this week. And hopefully getting to take a closer look at this one will help you decide if this is one that is on your wish list for the weekend. <laughs> so, sturdy box. And inside we've got a bag that has the canvas and drills and then set that to the side. Uh, we have a basic toolkit, but this has absolutely everything you're going to need to get started with diamond painting. So in here we've got miss anything here. Basic pen, pointy tweezers, baggies to store drills once you've opened the bags if need be. A squishy for the pen, a couple of plates of this pink heart wax, which is a really nice quality wax, actually, and then a clear tray or boat. And I think, yeah, there is in here. There is a thin plastic multi-placer in there that you can use as well. They also include a small sticker here that I like to use these in my logbooks. Uh, if you have a paper logbook, some people use them to put on the side of the box so that it's easier to find kits in their stash. But it's nice because it has the artwork, all the info about the painting itself, and yeah, you've just got it all there for you. So we have our usual branded bag. This is gonna have our canvas and drills and inventory sheet and whatnot. So the canvas is a really nice and kind of soft material. The edges are uh, scalloped and finished, and so you're not gonna have to worry about fraying. Let's get into this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. That is so fun. All right. So in here we have step-by-step -step instructions. And um, in this booklet, obviously step-by-step -step instructions, there's also a discount code. You will also find a discount code on your canvas in the Diamond Art Club VIP group, in your on your packing slip usually. But here, this is where I want to tell you about something brand new that Diamond Art Club is offering. So they're they're testing out some new things with their affiliate codes and I am so excited that I now get to offer you a 25% off coupon for your first purchase. So if you put in the code Katie in all caps, Katie25, I'll pop it up here on the screen for you as well, um, that will get you 25% off your first purchase. Thank you so much to Diamond Art Club for letting me offer a code that will let you guys 
save even more on your first purchase. So I'll be sure to link that below. In the interest of full disclosure, it is an affiliate link and code. So I may make a small commission if you choose to use it. There's never any obligation. The only thing that I say is please don't pay full price for Diamond Heart Club. Um, they have so many different discount codes available to you. Please make use of them. <laughs> so let's keep going and talking about our kit. We'll look at the drills in just a bit. Here is the inventory sheet. This is also, this is a sticker sheet. So we have all the info about the artwork, a spot to write your start and end date. Look at how adorable he is. Oh my goodness. Uh, diamond shape square drill. This is 51 by 56. It's not very big, but my goodness, 63 colors. That really is kind of a lot for a canvas this size. So my guess is we're gonna have a decent amount of confetti and lots of color changes. We'll take a look though. It looks like this kit has two ABs. Um, we know that they're ABs because in Diamond Art Club's color code system, anything under the number 150 is an AB. Um, these are pre-cut for you. So if you like to kit up in storage containers or put these on baggies or something like that, that's gonna make that process go super quickly. At first glance, I am not seeing too many symbols that look similar except a couple of these like triangles white triangles on green or blue backgrounds we'll look at the canvas and see if they look similar so don't panic yet <laughs> diamond art clothes printing is usually really clear so i'm not too worried about it but you know we always like to take a closer look because diamond art club does appreciate when we give feedback because Occasionally they, they miss things and they're very receptive to feedback I have found though. So, all right. So I just rolled that backwards to help it lay more flat for us. This is poured glue and poured glue is safe to roll like I just did. Uh, Diamond Art Club's poured glue is really squishy and I it's almost springy to diamond paint on. It holds drills really, really well. It's really forgiving if you need to adjust a drill. And it's also, it's very sticky. I never really have to run into issues with, um, I don't really run into issues with my drills falling off. So let's look at the different elements of the canvas. Here's branding. Do what makes, makes you sparkle. We have a legend slash key code over here on the top left, though it goes almost the entire <laughs> height of the canvas. Same thing over here on the bottom right. We have all of the info about the artwork and the artist here. Diamond Art Club really licenses all of the artwork that they make into diamond paintings, and that means that the artist has not only given their permission for the use of their artwork, but they're also being compensated. And in the crafting world where art theft is unfortunately very common, I am a huge proponent and supporter of companies that are doing right by the artists. So here is Diamond Art Club's socials and that discount code I mentioned, and then here's info about their lifetime warranty. Like I mentioned, Diamond Art Club is not only receptive to feedback, but they also are eager to make it right. If there's a problem with your canvas, with the drills, with the symbol clarity, anything, just send them an email and I'm sure that they will help you out. Let's look at the canvas itself. I want to check out some of these symbols and make sure we don't have any that are too, too similar to one another. Do you notice how Diamond Art Club's canvases actually have like they're glittery. They're like literally glittery, literally glittery. Can you say that five times fast? Okay. Uh, the printing on these looks maybe just a tiny bit faint. That may be my lighting though. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, this is the kind of thing that it's like a white symbol on a light gray background. Uh, I might want a light pad for that, but it's not bad. We also have this arrow and this plus sign right next to each other. Those are a bit similar, but Diamond Art Club's printing is, in my eyes, it's very clear. I'm not having trouble distinguishing between the two. It's kind of like I say in instances like this, I just want to make sure that I'm paying attention. <laughs> you know, that I don't just go on autopilot and assume. You know what happens when you assume and all of that. <laughs> uh... What I am seeing so far, everything looks very clearly printed. I don't think I am really seeing any symbols that seem too similar to one another. I was gonna look for that one. 
particular triangle to compare, but, oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah, so the symbols that I was worried about, I'm seeing just sporadically in here, and they're not, on the canvas, they're not very similar at all, so. All right, yeah, if you're looking along with me here, you'll see, indeed, we have lots of confetti. Um, if you're not familiar, confetti means that, uh, let me think, show you just a good example, really anywhere in here, I suppose. Uh, there's, in, in most of this really, <laughs> there's, there's lots of color changes. You're gonna be using your single placer a lot. You're gonna be changing the color in your tray quite often. Um, for most people, confetti sections take longer. Uh, there are a couple of very small areas of color blocking, like up here at the top. Color blocking is when you have a good chunk of one color in one place. You'll be able to use your multi-placer, leave that color in the tray for a while, and that often goes faster if you like to multi-place. <laughs> if you'd like some tips and tricks on multi-placing, by the way, I've done a couple of videos on it and my technique for multi-placing that I think a lot of people have found helpful. I will link it below in the description if you'd like to take a look. If you're, if you want to try to get, <laughs> spend more time on multi-placing but are having a little trouble with it. So we're at 50 and a half centimeters wide, which is just a half centimeter, half centimeter shy of the 51, and then just a tick shy of 56. So it is true to size, it's supposed to be 51 by 56, and I give companies wiggle room, usually like a centimeter or so, just, just because. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at the drills. Diamond Art Club puts the name of the kit on a sticker on the package of drills. So if for whatever reason you're storing the drills separate from the canvas and not in the box they came in, they're easy to match up later. Let's look at these. I always like to take a good look at square drills for quality. I wanna show you guys the colors and we're gonna find the two ABs in this kit and also go back and look at where those are gonna go. So here are our colors. You can see lots of browns and beiges, a little bit of those greens, blues, and grays. Let's take a look. So three bags of 436 brown, two bags of 433. A couple of grays. All right, 3024, two bags of that light gray. That beige, I bet that'll be in the, well, I'm like, I bet that'll be in the cat. What are you, what am I kidding? Like, two thirds of this is the cat. All right, another gray and beige for you, grayish. There we go, lots of neutrals. There we go, a little bit of color, that nice aqua teal. Grages, <laughs> and that has a little bit of pink. Wonder, oh, we do have, we should have just a tiny bit of 310 in here. <laughs> there we go, a couple bags of that gray, like that pale, pale mint or aqua. Three bags of 435, and then a bag of, a couple bags of 434 for shading, I'm sure. Greens and then a couple of grays, and this really pale olive. No ABs yet, so they must be not too heavy handed. They're in these smaller strands. All right, 938, and I haven't taken a closer look yet. Um, this is not a bad color to look at, but Diamond Art Club recently switched over to manufacturing all of their drills in-house, and I believe that all of the new kits and uh, like the new releases should have the new drills, there may still be a bit of a transition from old to new, so it's possible that you may get a mix of um, old and new colors like in your strands. The way that you tell the difference is uh, the new drills all have the same number of facets on the top, which in square drills means that all of their square drills are gonna have 13 facets on the top as opposed to the combination of nine and 13. Uh, the new drills are also really, really sparkly. They are a good quality. <laughs> and I I feel like I, you'll, if you've seen me do sneak peeks recently, I'm sure you've heard me say that I can feel the difference like in the bag. Like they feel softer and like almost silky in the bag. I don't know what it is, some kind of magic. <laughs> So grays. Now the older drills, they're, they weren't bad, but I I love like how Diamond Art Club tried to make them even better. So I'm I'm here for it. Pink. 
I'm waiting for the ABs. Where are you? <laughs> Grace Browns. Ooh, like that deep magenta. Burgundy, something up. <laughs> greens, browns, browns, greens. Ooh, bright, like reddish coral. Red. All right. Here we are. First AB. So I'll try to show this to you a little better. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And this is the kind of drill that has, they've, they've put an iridescent coating on the top that's going to reflect some different colors depending on the kind of iridescent coating and the drill it's on. Um, but really what it's gonna do is it's just gonna add some extra shine and glitz to the areas where it's been charted. It's gonna enhance those areas, draw your eye to them a little bit. And I love how Diamond Art Club usually charts their ABs. This is a, so 125, it's an AB that's a, it's like a white, but it's got a bit of a mint hue to it, a really pale mint hue. I'll show this uh, next to the other AB in this kit, which is a true white AB, so you guys can see the difference. Little bag of 3371. And then just tiny handfuls of these colors. <laughs> There's that 310. They look like the new drills to me. Pinks, greens, pinks and greens, greens and pinks, browns, blues, lots of kind of earthy tones in here. Tiny, tiny handfuls of these drills. All right, here is the tiniest bag of 141 that I think I've ever seen in a Diamond Art Club kit. I joke about how 141 is like their favorite AB. Like at most Diamond Art Club kits, 141 is one of their ABs because it's a white AB and it reflects like a lot of just different colors. And so it works really well as a good like neutral accent. So here's by comparison. So on the right, it's hard to tell because there's not as many of them. But on the right, you see how it's more of a true white and the one on the left has a tiny bit of a mint hue to it. All right, and then these tiny, tiny bags of these greens. <laughs> so 63 colors though on a canvas this big, it makes sense that a good number of colors there would just be a tiny handful of throughout. Let's take a look together. I want to point out where we're going to see those two ABs. So we're looking for the numbers one and two, and they're, they're such small amounts. I have to imagine, yes, okay. So the white AB, they have in the cat's, what is that? The beads in its beard. <laughs> so the white beads in the cat's like beard, <laughs> those are gonna be white ABs. Those white dots are gonna be white ABs. So there's just like pairs of them kind of throughout here. Um, my eyes, I need to be a little closer to this. I'm looking for that pale mint AB. We have a single solitary white AB in the cat's eye. Oh, let's look. Okay, there is a single mint AB in the middle of this, a single mint AB in the middle of this. A, a little clump of them right here. Is that really the main place that they are? Yeah, so these are like clouds above the cat's head and there's just like maybe a dozen kind of clustered in spots throughout those clouds, just at the top. So there's like a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. If you're looking at the original artwork, it's at the, really the lightest points of the clouds. And I don't see it elsewhere in the kit but that kind of makes sense with the lighting in the piece. I think that that's a, that makes sense. So, you know, with artwork like this, I think it makes sense for them not to have gone super handy, <laughs> heavy handed on the ABs. I think that that was probably an intentional choice on their part. And I'm really, you know, I think that that's gonna work up really, really beautifully. So what do you guys think? Again, this is Captain Jack and is from the artist Scott Howden. 
And just as a reminder, this is releasing this upcoming Saturday, October 23rd at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Ruby and Diamond level rewards members. And uh, half an hour later at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for the general release. Um, I recommend setting your alarms, signing up for their emails and texts so you get notified and get that link directly to the new arrivals. I'll link to the new arrivals section below. And just as a reminder, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your first purchase this weekend, I invite you to use my discount code for 25% off your first purchase. The code is my name, Katie in all caps, and the number 25. I'll have that linked below, of course. and. Yeah, thank you so much in advance if you choose to use that. I appreciate that. All right, my friends, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Is this on your wish list for the weekend? Are you keeping an eye on the other new releases for the weekend as well? I wish you all the best of luck in snagging the ones on your wish list. And also, I want to thank Diamond Art Club so much for sending this over to me for me to get to share with all of you. I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed getting to see this sneak peek with me. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.